Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Um, this is my week 90 gastric bypass update. <clears throat> and I have not made a video in like a month. I have not caught up on people's videos in like a month. There's a lot of things that have been happening with my friends that I am learning like after the fact because I'm horrible at catching up to videos. Um, so week 90, um, I was 211.8 today. Um, I've been maintaining between <clears throat> 210 and 215 for the past, this is November, so probably the past nine or ten months. I'm sorry, I have like a throat infection or something. I haven't formally been diagnosed, but I've had this twice this year, and this is the worst I've had it, so I'm pretty sure I have a throat infection. Um, welcome to my new house. Like, I don't know if you can even see it all, but it's my couch, my living room, my bathroom. I don't know. I like it. I'm like all adult now and shit because I have a house. <laughs> it's a rental house, but it's still mine. Um, so yeah, I've been really busy, moved into the house. I've been here about two weeks now. Um, and I'm super efficient. Like I, um, I had a date Friday night and then I got home from the date and I packed for like five or six hours, packed my entire apartment. And then Saturday morning I moved Saturday night, I had everything unpacked. I was up till 6 in the morning, but everything was done. Um, the only really things I had that I didn't have done were um, I had to buy a pantry for the kitchen because I don't have enough cabinets. You know, I have a huge kitchen. I didn't have enough cabinets, so I had to buy a pantry. And Excuse me. So when that came, I had to put, um, put that together. But everything else has been done for two weeks. And um, the guy I had the date with on Friday, I'm still seeing, so congratulations, Jennifer, two weeks with somebody. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go there. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, that's just really busy with the house, and work has been good, but um, kind of busy as well. There's been a lot of things going on in November that um, I'm taking on a little bit more responsibility there, and things are getting kind of dramatic, um, which I'm not going to speak upon, but... Um, so between all that stuff and the move and just the fact that I'm now 90 weeks out, um, which I believe I'm going to have to do some math real quick because, you know what, I don't have to do math. Bottom line is I think I'm like 20 months out. Um, maybe a, I had my surgery March 5th of 2012, so it's like 20 months. Um, I, there isn't a whole lot to update anymore. I mean, I've been at the same weight, like I said, for the past nine or ten months, and it fluctuates. Like, as a woman, it's definitely going to fluctuate <clears throat> because we just have hormones and our bodies are stupid. Um, like, this week was a perfect example. I weighed myself a lot this week, and I don't know why, um, but I weighed myself a lot this week. And at one point in the week, I was 217, and at another point in the week, I was 208. Now, there's no way that I've done anything at all that should have made me gain and lose nine pounds in a matter of four or five days. But that's just how it's registering. So I'm sticking to Monday weight days. I had my surgery on a Monday, so I'm sticking with Mondays, my weigh-in days. And so whatever the scale says on Monday mornings, that's what I'm going off of. So I was 211.8 this morning. I have been in this range, this five-pound range, for long enough now that I'm in, I consider myself to be in maintenance. Um, I still have four more months to go before my two year surge anniversary, but, um, I, I feel like I'm in maintenance right now. So, um, I know it's good. Um, is in terms of food, I'm not really doing anything differently. I'm still drinking my stupid frozen Cokes like every day. Um, I still eat sugar and I still eat carbs and I still, but I, I do the good stuff too. Like I make sure I get my protein in and I make sure I drink enough water and um, I don't really try like new snack foods or anything like that. I don't try anything new with sugar in it. Um, my portion sizes are still, excuse me, relatively small. Sorry, my throat's killing me. Still relatively small. Um, my calories are usually between 1,200 and 1,800, um, given the day. Um, I don't know. That's like I'm doing good exercise-wise. That's the, the place that's really improved a lot. Not so much that I'm exercising more, um, but I've been testing myself when it comes to running. 
my asthma has been really bad for like the past two or three months, so I was kind of leery. But I have found that if I take my inhaler before I go to the gym, it's a lot easier for me to do the interval training, which is the running and the walking. Um, and I've gotten to the point now to where if I do like a 30 minute, you know, 30 minute, 30 minutes on the treadmill, I can get um, close to two miles in that amount of time. And that's because I'm running for half of the 30 minutes, which is crazy. Um, when I first started this journey and, you know, you have to wait six weeks after surgery. When I first started, I tried to do the couch to 5K thing and I lasted like 30 seconds on the running and I was dying, dying. Of course, I was also, you know, what was I at the time? Like 290 pounds when I first started to do it. Now I'm 211. <clears throat> um, but I do a lot of walking, so my cardiovascular issues are a lot better um, in terms of endurance. And so now for me to go on the treadmill and for run to run for like five minutes straight is insane. Um, but I'm proud of myself that I'm able to do that. So outside of exercise and my endurance being better with cardiovascular stuff, there really isn't anything to talk about because I've talked about it all. Um, so I'm probably not going to be making videos every week. Um, no shit, right? Like I haven't been here for a month, but I'm not really going to make videos every week anymore. Um, when I get to the point where I am seriously pursuing plastic surgery, then I will come back and I will maybe once or twice in between there, I'll come back and say something, but, um, everything's just kind of mellow now. It's just kind of life and you kind of learn what you can do and what you can't do. And that's what you go with. Um, so that's where I'm at. Um, I am going to go see the plastic surgeon for a consult in January. Um, VSG Tanya just had her um, tummy tucked on and she looks amazing. She, well, she looked amazing before, but I'm happy for her now that she feels even more comfortable with her body and sees her success. Um, and then Kat had her arms done like two months ago. Um, or was it a month ago? It was like, it was probably closer to two months ago and they look really good and I need like everything from my shoulders to my knees done. Um, so it gives me hope and the consult's a hundred dollars and I really don't have a hundred dollars until January. Um, but it would be good to at least see what they want to do. Um, I know plastic surgery or the tummy tuck is sometimes covered with your insurance. I don't know if it would be with mine or not, but it's worth looking into. Um, so maybe when I do that, I'll come back on here and make some more updates, but um, not really much else to say. I will catch up on everyone's videos because I do really genuinely care about what my friends are doing, um, and I'm hoping that you guys will be at the Atlantic City meet and greet. Um, I personally don't support the WLSFA, which is who, who basically like sponsors or benefits from these meet and greets, so I won't be actually going to the actual event where you buy a ticket because um, I don't support them whatsoever. Um, but I do want to go to Atlantic City, and I still want to hang out with everybody. Um, so I'm hoping you guys will go. I know it's going to be August 16th, 2014. Um, the actual event is going to be at the showboat. Um, but it's Atlantic City, so stay at any hotel you want and come hang out. Um, anyway, I will talk to you guys all soon. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll catch up to everyone's videos. Just give me some time because things are now starting to calm down, and... I might be able to get some free time to watch some videos. So thank you very much. Love you guys. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.